What started as a common goal to find the 19-year-old now has her family pitted against the Orange County Sheriff's Office. In these type of investigations, every second matters. Uh, and, and the time that they need it, uh, they just basically dropped the ball. Right now, some of the biggest questions are focused on Armando Caballero and why he was not taken into custody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Orange County Sheriff John Mina confirmed Mia was found with duct tape on her mouth, hands, and feet. Her body was discovered on Saturday near the Timber Scan Condos. That's 17 miles from her apartment at the Arden Villas near UCF. New video released by Mia's family today shows Caballero at the apartment complex just hours after deputies say he dumped her body. We start our team coverage tonight with News 6's Nikki Zizaza with the latest from Sheriff Mina on that video. Lisa, Sheriff John Mina shedding more light into the investigation into the death of Mia Marcano, and he's defending his detectives, saying they put all their effort into this investigation. We've also learned that the prime suspect was waiting for Mia in her apartment when she got off from work before she vanished. We can't begin to express uh, the sorrow that we feel for Mia's family. Speaking at a news conference on Wednesday, Sheriff John Mina gave an update on a case still drawing national attention while backing his department's investigation. Our detectives uh, are some of the best in the world, and they've interviewed um, every possible person that has any connection um, to, to this case that we know about. Sheriff Mina providing more details about the death of Mia Marcano. The person responsible for Mia's death is Armando Caballero. And all the, although the investigation still continues. Um, he, he is the only person responsible. On the same day, cell phone video released by the family shows prime suspect Armando Caballero being questioned by police and confronted by Marcano's family about texts he had sent her. We're going to get a police report to pull your phone records if that's the case. Um. At the time the video was taken, there was no basis uh, for our deputies to detain or arrest Armando Caballero. Our deputies are not permitted to arrest or detain someone based on a hunch or based on what someone else is saying. Adding to the family's unease, Caballero was found dead from an apparent suicide. Investigators learned he had used a master key to enter Marcano's apartment. So there's no doubt he was waiting for her knowing, you know, she was going to be coming home from work. This investigative timeline of events revealing steps taken after the 19 year old was classified missing on September 25. After exhaustive searches on October 2nd, human remains found in a wooded area at Timber Scan Apartments were confirmed to belong to Marcano. The way she was found is she did have jeans on, her shirt was taken off, she was wearing a bra, there was a robe um, that was on her as well. When asked about the steps taken in the investigation into Mia Marcano's death, Sheriff John Mina said this. She was already left dead at Timber Scan Apartments before we were ever called. And Sheriff Mina says detectives followed up on cell phone pings and put effort into all resources. In this case, uh, uh, the amount of staffing and the manpower and the hours that, that, that have been put and the resources that have been put into this case are, are some of the most I, I've ever seen. Now, the sheriff says there was no sign of a sexual assault, and he says his detectives are still searching for two cell phones and a set of keys. Now, as for the manner of death, he says they are still waiting for the medical examiner's report. 